So the other day I tried to make this video and I thought I'd remake it because I don't know, I've been pretty sick lately and I think it's an important video to make because people are stupid. So essentially a few weeks ago there was the March for Men's Rights and I really did want to go to it. I couldn't go to it because I've been really ill and I feel as though the news represented it in a way that I think is very stupid because people seem to be perceiving it as a sexist kind of thing and it's really not. It's there to support the fact that a lot of the time men do go through terrible, terrible things such as mental health and they do go through a lot of all this other stuff and I think that a lot of the time it gets swept under the rug because a lot of the time people tend to say things like oh women's rights are oppressed or that women have it worse because of what used to be and people have now sort of villainized men for what the past was and in my personal opinion you also see this in race as well people do the same thing to people who are caucasian because of what the history has been and we seem to be doing a lot of blaming to people who happen to be related to people down the line for instance it's almost as if it's okay to say because I grew up going to church that I grew up in a Christian church that supported Jesus and that would be very much like us saying that Jewish people are terrible people because they killed Jesus and I think that that's ridiculous because I've got a sister who's Jewish, a stepsister, and she is not responsible for the slaughter of a dude that I don't even know if he exists. And I think that a lot of the time people keep doing this thing where they keep saying, hey, you're responsible for actions that other people that you fit into a common ground with did and I think that we need to separate ourselves from that and grow up because everybody's just being a bunch of immature people and men's rights women's rights we should just have people rights yes there are certain categories where men should be superior and women should be superior for instance I'm not going to suggest to put women in men's wrestling because genetically as I said previously on my YouTube before the big cull I don't think that women and men should compete together in things that are physical and that goes for male to female transgendered people too. I did make a video about that. I can elaborate on that or re-upload that if you guys are interested. But there was a case approximately two years ago. It might have been last year, but I think it was two years ago where there was a transgendered woman, male to female, who competed in women's lifting, in powerlifting, and they happened to destroy the women because they had a male profile due to going through both a male puberty and then due to hormone therapy, a female puberty. So therefore, it was unfair genetically to allow that person into the competition because they had a genetic predisposition. I've got that word wrong, but 
you know what I mean. They had like this genetic profile that was predetermined and so they ended up winning due to that which was an advantage due to having the fact that they've gone through testosterone and stuff. So I think that that's important to look at as well. And then we've got the fact that men and women are genetically different. Men are more likely to go through depression and suicidal tendencies. And that's essentially what the march was there to support, things like that. So I think that they're important to look at. There are times where men are oppressed, for instance, there's the fact that men are legally less likely to be able to get custody of their children compared to a woman, and that's just by the law. Now, I think that it's important to note that because there's a lot of different details out there that these things do tend to happen, and a lot of the time, we keep going on about women's rights and how women need to have equality but there's certain aspects where men have no equality at all and are completely oppressed especially by the law and I think that a lot of the time these are just swept under the rug because simply they're men and people think that that means that they shouldn't have to suffer or shouldn't have to feel the way that they do. Anyway, I guess I'll leave it at that. I think that it's very sad that people try to protest the much for men. And I think that it's very sad that people tried to claim it was fascism. There was even one person who claimed MRA is equal to, uh, I think their sign said masculinity rapists assholes and I think that that's really disgusting and distasteful anyway I guess I will leave it at that toodaloo